hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you how i made this beautiful poncho dress okay so you can wear it alone or you can wear a bottom with it okay and it fits all shapes and sizes so guys if you are new here if it's your first time here please subscribe like comment and please ask your questions i am going to attend to every one of your questions so guys let's get to it this is the fabric that I'll be using for to make this poncho. This is a fleece fabric, all right? Because I want to make the dress for winter, that is why I'm using a fleece fabric, all right? But you can use any fabric that you want, okay? Just like it is on the thumbnail, it is an African print fabric, right? So to fold your fabric, we all know that an African print fabric is by 45, that is the length, and this is the yardage, right? So in order to fold it, this is what you're going to do. This is the length, which is by 45. That means you're going to turn it this way. All right. So the yardage will be on this side. Okay. And then you're going to fold it this way. So at the end of the day, if you're using two meters, two yards, for example, the length that you'll be having is going to be 35 inches. All right. And if you're using 2.5 meters, you're going to have more. Okay, but still the length, which is now the width of your fabric. Okay, you know I said you're going to fold it this way. The length will still be by 45. So this is what I've done on this fabric. I folded it this way, although the length of this fabric is by 60. Okay, so if I fold it this way, if I fold the fleece fabric, just like I've shown you, I'm going to be having 30 inches. Okay, as against 35 that you'll be having if you're using... An African print fabric. I hope you understand. Okay, so now you're going to fold it this way. After folding it this way, the next thing you're going to do is to fold it this way. All right. So this is still your length while this is your shoulder line. All right. So from here, which is your neckline, to the edge of the fabric, this edge that we now have is 22.5 inches that is 45 inches divided by two all right so now what i'm going to do on this fabric i'll just show you on this paper so that you will understand okay so the neck depth that i'll be using is um four inches all right so this is four inches and the neck width also i'll be using let's say 4.5 okay so let me use 4.5 so I'll be using 4.5 by 4 inches, all right? So this is for the front, right? So the neck depth for the back, right? I'll be using 2 inches, okay? So this will be for the back. And this will be for the front, all right? You know, like we normally do. So, you know, it will not be easy for me to cut out this way. Because this space is folded and this space is folded. All right, so what I'll do is this. On this fabric, it was actually like this before. So I'm going to open it like this, open it up. Open it up like it was initially, okay? And then I'll fold it this way. Okay? So it is going to be like this. Then this place will be my front, while this place will be my back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. You know, we mark two inches here, right? I'm going to mark two inches here. Still the same neck width of four, 4.5. I'll mark two inches here and join it like this. Okay, so this will be my back and this will be my front. Okay, so I'm going to cut two inches neck depth here to meet the 4.5 inch neck width. And then from this place, I'm going to cut to meet the four inches neck depth for the front. Do you understand? So that is what I'm going to do on this fabric. So after cutting it out on this fabric, you can now put it back this way. You can now fold it back this way. And then I'm going to show you how to cut the collar. You 
know right here this is what i have now right so now i'm going to open it up this way and this way and then this way like i showed you so that i can cut the front and the back neckline together okay okay so this is my midpoint the point that i marked so now i'll make this place my front and this place to be my back so the neck width is still 4.5 so the neck depth for the front is going to be four inches and the neck depth for the back is going to be two inches do you see what i have so now this is still my middle line so basically we are done with this fabric so in order to cut the collar i'm going to measure what i have around this side this neck i'm going to measure what i have so what i have is 12.5 inches measuring around i have 12.5 inches but you know that it is on fold so by the time i open it up i'll be having 25 inches okay so what i'll do is to cut i'm still going to use the same fabric is to cut a piece of fabric that is 25 inches long so the width that i'm going to cut is 8 inches and the length is 25 inches which is what i have here okay so you can add one inch similar to make it 26 but because this fabric is stretchy i'm just going to cut the exact 25 inches you can now put it back this way okay so guys i have cut out the the collar so this is it this is the collar so i ended up cutting 10 inches long all right and 25 inches width okay so i'll fold it this way on my neck all right because the purpose is to prevent me from getting cold okay so first of all what i'm going to do is this i'm going to sew the fabric all right so i'm just going to sew it down just like this so after sewing it i'm going to attach it to the neck of the fabric okay of the dress rather so i'm going to attach it to the neck But before you pin it, do you know, one thing that you can do is to notch here, notch here, notch here, notch the midpoint, do it this way, notch here, notch here, okay? Then also here on the collar as well, you notch it here, you notch it here as well, then you fold it into four and then you notch here, okay? So when you notch it, you're going to place the notches against each other. So the notch that you have here, you're going to... Place it here. Alright, I'm going to sew it round. And then when I when I wear it, I can fold it over this way. Alright. And then that is it. Okay, so the last thing we are going to do is this. You're going to measure from this edge, you're going to measure 10 inches down you know the ham is going to come out from this end right so measure 10 inches down make a mark make a mark so from this 10 inches you're going to sew straight down just so straight down to the end okay you're going to do the same on the other side as well measure 10 inches okay you leave it on sewn then you sew right from the 10 inches straight down to the hem okay so it depends on the fabric you're working with this fabric does not need hemming but if you're working with a fabric that needs hemming you just fold it two times and then you hem the bottom okay and there you go this is it so you can use any fabric that you want so i'm going to do all of this that i've shown you just now and then i'll show you what it looks like on me so guys this is the puncture that we just made. it is beautiful 
alright? The length is perfect and the sleeve is also perfect. So if you want the sleeve to be longer, just increase the width, alright? And if you want the length to be longer as well, you increase it. So that is it. And then you can see the collar. So this is what it looks like on the back. So you can wear it with or without any bottom, maybe your fat um, your chin or anything, or your leggings, just like what I'm wearing. You can wear it with or without as long as you're okay with the length of, of the top. I am happy with what I have made. So please make yours guys and please tell me what you feel about it. Please drop your comments, like, share this video and please subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.